Ooh, well now, greetings and salutations to you all once again. It is I, the Ravenous Spectre, and today we're doing a little bit of a flip-through of The Art of the Last of Us. Now, obviously, I really like the first one. Didn't really care for the second one. Not going to get into that. Um, yeah, I've <laughs> the second one is low, low on the totem pole for me, but I really did like the first one. But we're not going to get into that discussion. This is dealing with the first game, and I'm going to do a little bit of a flip through here because I ended up getting this from Amazon for about 20 something and change, 24 and change, something like that. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to go through and look through all of this, but I'm going to give a little bit of a flip through here to kind of showcase some of it. Um, <clears throat> obviously, we have Joel and Ellie here. And this was definitely one of those games that uh, definitely took me by surprise when it first came out. Um, I was definitely excited for it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Definitely happy to play it. Definitely really liked it. Um, and uh, when I got it and I started playing it, it really kind of threw me for a loop as to how um, it, great it was with its characters and its storytelling and the environments and uh, the action that would take place as well. Um, but then the second one came out, didn't really do too much difference and, uh, really kind of took a 180 degree turn for me in terms of dealing with like the, you know, the woke crap that was in it. And, uh, obviously <clears throat> spoilers, the killing of Joel. Uh, yeah, that really knocked it down further for me on the totem pole when Joel ended up dying. Because I was kind of hoping in the second game that you were going to be able and uh, actually play as Joel. So, which you did, <clears throat> but um, definitely wasn't a long period of time, which was aggravating. I would have liked a little mismatch of, you know, jumping back and forth between Ellie and Joel. That probably would have increased it a little bit on my, uh, my uh, totem pole scale, if you will. Uh, playing as uh, Abby was, oops. Playing as Abby was a little, yeah, it was okay, I guess, you know, seeing it from like a villain perspective and then Nelly's perspective and then realizing that Joel died and I'm just like, this is a load of crap. So anyways, here we are to the infected, which is obviously going to be the really humdinger of the book here. Um, but yeah, ooh, that's freaky. So definitely looking forward to go through all of this and check all of this out, but, um, yeah, the first one was really good. The DLC, yeah, they kind of went a little woke with that, which is something that I didn't really expect until I got into actually checking it out a little bit more. And I'm like, yeah. But everything throughout the whole first game was great. So, but um, that's pretty much all I can say about that, I suppose. But yeah, definitely going to uh, get a little bit deeper into this and checking it out and whatnot and reading through it and so on and so forth but anyways i want to do a little bit of a flip through of this a little bit of unboxing if you will and i will go ahead and end this like i always do uh later taters <laughs> 